Hey everybody, this is Mike from the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today we're looking at one of my favorite programming games, Quirky Circuits. This one's from Plaid Hat Games, recently split from Asmodee, and no disclaimer needed, this time I bought this copy myself. Quirky Circuits is a card programming game with limited communication between two to four players. There is unfortunately no way to play solo. And it comes with a sort of storybook style bound book, very similar to what you see in Stuff Fables or Aftermath. But in this case, each page of the storybook is a challenge, a different scenario. And there's actually four different types of robots, and the things you do with those robots as you program is drastically different. Now for this playthrough, I polled our Patreon supporters for which of the four robots they wanted to see. And they picked Lefty, who delivers sushi to little kitty cats in the restaurant. Every other robot is moving around a board, but Lefty is unique in that he's on a conveyor belt and these little cards that you are forced to play in your hand move him around and you try to pick up these different meals and deliver them to the right cats. And later on in his more challenging scenarios, you even have to put ingredients on chopping blocks to change them into the correct food before you deliver them. So setup for the game is super simple. You just have to pick which scenario you want to do. And since the board is one of these storybook setups, they actually tell you where to place every single token you need. They also tell you which special cards go into your deck. And if you need to refresh on how anything works, it's all here for you. So super simple to just jump in and play, even if it's been a little while. And to finish up setup, you take all the normal programming cards for your robot, plus any indicated yellow cards, shuffle them all together, and give each player four or five cards, depending on player count. For the play of the game, let me show you the elements that are consistent across all scenarios, and then I'll get to the specific things for Lefty. The core rules of the programming are, you have to play all your cards face down, and all players are cooperatively building a line of programming. Usually you go from left to right, but just to kind of fit on the camera screen, we're going to go uh, top to bottom in different columns. But players can freely add to the programming sequence. So one player could add that card, and then a different player could play that one. Another player could play this one. And very key to the strategy of the game, you can see the type of card played. Like here, the stars are actions, and these are turns. And each robot tells you very specifically what its deck is composed of. So you can often somewhat glean what cards are being played by your fellow players and tailor your strategy as such. But to get back to the basics, the core rules are every player must play at least one card. A total of at least five cards must be played. So here we'd be good to go if we wanted to stop. But players can play as many cards as they want. They can even play their entire hand if they want to. And then finally, a very important card. Once you introduce the yellow cards, if you have at least one yellow card in your hand, you cannot play any normal cards until you play your yellow cards. So as an example, let's say that a two-player hand just started, and I've got two yellow cards and three blue cards. If my partner doesn't have any yellow cards, they can play as many of their cards as they want. But whenever I want to jump in with some of my cards, I have to get rid of my yellow cards before I can get to my other cards. Once the players stop playing cards, you reveal them and you resolve them in the order they were played. And the actions are going to vary by the robot. I'll show you lefties in a second. And after everything is resolved, you move the battery token down one. If you get to the zero, you lose. And then you refill everybody's hand to five or four based on the player count, reshuffling as needed. And you just continue doing that until you either accomplish the scenario, have a loss condition, some of them have immediate loss conditions, or again, your battery runs out. Now to get specific to Lefty's deck for the scenario you'll be watching, he has three categories of cards with two types within each. For turns, he either has a left turn or a 180 degree turn, which will turn him either 90 degrees or 180 degrees. So he has no 90 degree right turns, which is why his name Lefty is pretty apt. His action cards are to pick up and drop off where his hands are located. So here, for example, his short hand is over this miso soup, so it would just slide right in there. Let's say instead, if it was like this, he would both pick up this one under his long hand and this one under his short hand. And I'll also drop off with this action. So if it was like this, he was already carrying one and not carrying the other, he'd pick up this one and drop off that one. His other action is to switch what's in his hands. So if he's already carrying two tokens, he'll flip them. If he's only carrying one token, he'll just throw it over to the other hand, which might make it the right range to deliver to a cat. Finally, his forced yellow cards are the only movement in this scenario. You've got a bunch of ones that move everything on the conveyor belt one space, including Lefty in this scenario. Sometimes he's on it, sometimes he's not. Another one that moves everything twice. By the way, a quick public service announcement for this game before we get to the full playthrough. 
Three of the four robots are meant to actually be able to hold the tokens in their claws or mouths. But at least for my copy, and I wouldn't be surprised if this were a pretty common thing, all of their claws and mouths were too closed to actually hold the tokens. So I fixed mine tonight through a lot of trial and error, and I want to show you how I did it. So if you don't know the little hot cold water miniature trick, the idea is you get some water almost to boiling. A coffee mug works great for these. Get a slotted spoon or something and dip them in. And leave them in for literally like 10 seconds. It doesn't take that long. And then bring them back out, and for a little while, all their little parts will be malleable. And here's where the trial and error came in. I found that a nickel has just about the right thickness, so I just literally slipped it into the piece I needed. And with the nickel in there, I then put that part of the robot into cold water to kind of set the plastic. So for Lefty here, you gotta do that twice. Rover was tougher because it's such a lot of plastic around his head, so I put him in the water for a long time and I really shoved that nickel in there. And the bee is the weirdest one because a nickel is too wide for him, so what I did is I just kind of got like the first end of the nickel in before I put him in the cold water. And now as you'll see, they slide the tokens in there really nicely without scratching anything up. Even Rover is ready to get his little treat, yes he is. And you'll see in the playthrough, Lefty is a champ holding his food tokens. So I hope that helps some of you out if you end up getting the game. Again, all you need is a nickel, some almost boiling water, and some cold water. Good to go. All right, so with all the rules and setup out of the way, we're going to get to the playthrough. And again, our Patreon supporters voted for the toughest of the basic modes in the game, which is our little sushi robot here trying to deliver to the cats. Playing with me is my lovely wife, Vanessa. Say hi, sweetie. And uh, yeah, we're going to be working together, and we have to play at least five cards between us, play one card each or more each turn. Let's kind of show you where stuff is. We've got the robot here. We've got our nigiri next to us, miso soup above us, uh, maki roll, and uh, sashimi. And some of it is on the conveyor belt with us. we got to get to the specific cats. So here we go. We're each going to get five cards. And before Vanessa plays, because uh, I can see, we can see the backs of each other's hands. Sweetie, can you show them the back of your hand real quick? And I can see she has those yellow cards that I told you have to be played first. So I'm going to try to do something before uh, she ever plays those yellow cards. So I'm going to go see if she can figure out what I'm doing. I'm going to go like that. And then like that. Wait, actually, will this work? Hmm. You know what? No, let's not do that. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to do something there. going to go like that. And... Like that. Um, and then I'll stop for now if you want to play anything. All right. All right. Well, so we're moving so. with the food, so theoretically our relative spacing should be similar. So we should play at least one more card before we stop. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid to play another card. All right, I, well, here, let's play this and we can see where we are. That sound good? Yeah. Okay. I think I picked up the wrong thing. So now we're going to resolve in order. So first I rotated us 180 degrees. I picked up the nigiri and our short claw. Uh, then we moved one on the conveyor belt. Then we moved double <laughs> on the conveyor belt. And then uh, I rotated us a single space. Okay. Okay. So all these cards go to the discard pile, and we refill our hands. So Vanessa has uh, three cards left. I have two. I always like to start with the person who is shorthanded. Oh, and our battery counts down at one. If we get to zero, we lose. So neither of us has yellow cards this time? Mm, no. Oh, man. We just want to get rid of a bunch of cards then, because... Well, no. Wait. I think... I think... There's no way we can get the... Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, no. Hmm. No, but we're holding something. Yeah, but it's for him. Oh. <laughs> we can't even pick up anything else unless we move the conveyor belt first. Yeah, we can just get rid of a bunch of cards until we uh, oh. get more yellow cards, I guess. Uh, I feel like this is going poorly already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I well, should have picked up this one. I probably should have picked up the thing that was far away from us because then we might have been in range of delivering it more quickly. So that was a bad call on my part. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, so this can happen, right? And... um. That and it doesn't turn unless we make it turn, right? Correct. So then I am going to do something. 
let's just go one and two. Be similar or something. Just to clean out my hand some. Okay, so we ditched a lot of cards because we didn't have any conveyor belts. Uh, so Vanessa flipped to the long hand and then turned us once and twice. And I think some of these are mine. <laughs> we just, we're doing a little, little circle dance here. Uh, there we go. Down to eight time. Clearly we've accomplished a lot. Let me go move the conveyor belt first. Some at least. We get off the conveyor belt. No, <laughs> we're not allowed to move. We are, are self-delivery robot. How are we ever supposed to reach that? Oh, well, when, when we're opposite it. Look, like when we're here, it'll oh, be here. Oh, so we, the, oh. But we can't do it until we get rid of this, which oh, is why I'm man. thinking we like do some conveyor belt movement and deliver that thing. Oh, crud. We're in trouble. We're in trouble because we've got two yellows. That's okay. Oh, all right. Remember, you don't have to play them both right away. I thought I did, because they're yellow. No, you have to play them both before you play anything. But you can play a single yellow, and then I can play some more. Yeah. So you gotta math out where we need to be to deliver this food. <laughs> can I... Uh, and that doesn't, so, it doesn't tell me... This so is, all of them are ones, except for a single two. So if you have a two, you know what you have. how many yellow cards to total are? There are four yellow cards total. So there's one so on three them. singles... And a single double. And a single double. Oh, so based on what's on your hand, you might already know exactly what I played, or you might not. Mother of pearl. And here, I'll help you out. We're not allowed to do this in the actual game, but this is our first time playing this scenario. We need to be here. Right. And rotated 180 to deliver there. Yes, I am aware. So we need to move three spaces total with a conveyor belt. Yes. I'm, a, I'm, I'm making assumptions based on what you said about how many of those cards there are. Okay. Well, I'm going to try. Do that. I'm going to do that. I'll play that. Stop there. Yeah. You want to play anything else? No, probably not. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'd like to see where we are first. So, we'll get them all in order. Okay, so that was a single conveyor belt. That was a single. And, yay, okay. So the that's two was I, not that's there. That's what I yeah. thought, yeah. No, you did it exactly right, sweetie. Good job. Okay, then I rotated us 180 degrees. And first delivery coming in. Yeah. We got one happy kitty. Now don't forget, that token is still there. We can grab it from the cat if we mess up. So <laughs> we don't so want to do that. Not, yeah. And then I rotated us like that to finish up. Down to seven time. Okay. All right, how many cards do you have left? I got the only yellow, and we know what it is. So oh, see if you want to do anything before I play it. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Hold on. I'm going to this. Ooh. That'll be a very important this. Yeah. Hmm. Then the conveyor belt is not the this we need. <laughs> and wait. Ooh, wait, wait. Yes, it is. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> okay, wait. So you've already done this, so I can do that, which will move us the amount. And then we'll be facing. Okay, and then. Hold on. I can, I can take care of this part. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I can do. Wait. You rotated us. I can do that and that. Uh huh. I really hope you know which plate I'm picking up. I hope I do too. <laughs> anyway, you don't have to play anything else, but would you like to play anything else? I really think I shouldn't. Okay, cool. We do have the minimum five, so we'll stop there. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not what I thought you were picking up. I, I thought. So, uh, as soon as you because look we, we got we could have delivered that this turn yeah well you know what all right so that's okay so we, was... we got the we got the miso soup not what i thought but that's okay <laughs> oh man and we moved twice and so did that um did i forget to move that wasn't that opposite us for forever oh i don't even... i think i never moved it when we were doing all the other things because it was opposite thought, us and we never picked it up correct i thought that was the thing that was opposite us and we picked no it no up. this was definitely the thing that was opposite us we were holding that for forever oh, okay <laughs> okay so then i did that <laughs> and then i dropped it right where it started <laughs> okay oh, we're, good. we're doing great we're doing great cooperation is fun all right uh hey. do, do, do. and then i think i need one more okay i got one conveyor belt oh. But I guess we might want to grab something before. Okay. Hold before the phone. I play it. Okay. Hold the phone. Let me think. Let me think. 
Oh, after we do the... Okay. Yeah, I can't help you, but there's, some, there's something we can pick up that after one can move will be good. Yes, I know. <laughs> Hold on. But I so, can't help you at all in getting the thing. Yes, I understand. I think I, I think I understand. If I go like this... Okay, so I'm going to go... <gasps> okay, I'm going to go like this. Then I'm going to go like this. Wait, did I pick the right one? Hold on a second. Oh, wait, okay. no, it's not right. No, it's not right. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I don't know what you're doing, but no, I'll, no, I'll wait. No, no, no. I'll wait. You no, take wait. your time. Uh -huh. All right, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I know what you're looking at. <laughs> Look which arms are where. Yeah, I know, I know. So do you want to change your stuff? Oh, man, alive. Yeah. So, all right, hold Let's on do, a second. Do over, do over. Oh. I might just edit that all out. <laughs> Please do. It's like, oh. All right, I know I want to start with this. You do. I can't put on, put down anything else that makes sense. Is the problem unless I? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I no, just, you, unless you want me to waste cards. No, no, you just you might just not have the right stuff. So that's okay. All right, so we'll just we'll just throw some cards away for a little while then. All right, so after you do that, I'll do this, and then we'll just have some fun. <laughs> oh God. Many, well, actually, wait, I, I guess I could you... turn us more purposefully, couldn't I? Yes. Um, so Unless... that would be... Hmm. So we're going to go... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 Oh, jeez. And that is literally all that can be done. Okay. We'll stop there. So let's go down to five yeah. now. Okay, so we pick up the miso. And then we all advance one. And then I did three left turns. Which should do one, two. Yeah, so I got us in position. And three. I already moved the battery. All right. How many cards do you have? I have four. Oh, geez. Okay. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I got the only yellow. So, <laughs> here, that's yours, sweetie. Okay. I'm just going to go and play that first. Okay. Make things nice and easy for us. Oh, and gosh darn it. We only move once. Yeah, I'm definitely forgetting to move that. It's, it's definitely opposite us. Okay. Gosh almighty. Oh, which means... Ooh. Ooh! W yes, which means... We can be very effective this turn. Okay, so if you're putting... If you're doing what I think you're doing, I then... Mean, I'm doing the only thing I could do. Yeah, exactly. Then we are going... Well, Pam. Yes. Right? And then... Um, and then... Well, Pam... Well, Pam... Right. You know, I actually want us to move a lot, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, all right. Well, then, then yeah, you're on your own. Go ahead and flip those. Do you want to play anything just to get it out of your hands, sweetie? We need to get some more yellow cards so we can right. get all the way around to something else okay. before time runs out. All right, so if Mary Belt won, don't forget that. So we drop off the Miso. Did you see I was doing this, sweetie? Yes, you dropped off Pick the up the Maki. Yes. Because it was opposite. Okay. That that I did notice. But then you put a bunch of turns down, and I was like, I, well, I turned us there, and I dropped it off. That's all I did. Oh, good. Yeah. So we delivered everything except the last one. How do? Okay. So and then we, just we rotated them. twice, and then that's a then switch hands. Yeah. yeah. So it's ineffectual. So we just do a full rotation. All right. Good. And that's where we four want time. to be facing anyway. I got two conveyor belts, and you have only one. I have only one. Okay. So sure, you can go first. Okay. Well, bam. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. Wabam. Wabam. <laughs> and I have another wabam, but I'm not wabamming. Okay, all right, all right, never mind. So this. Gosh, that's all. That, that, that's all I can do. Oh, you okay. don't have a thing? I, I don't. Oh. Do you not have a thing? Okay, no, no, we're okay, we're okay. I think we're okay. Okay, so I gotta do that. Mm-hmm. Right, you know us. Guessing you did that. So now... Can, can you, uh... <laughs> look, look. Huh. Huh? <laughs> or we rotated one more time, we compared one more time. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Look what I have in my hand. Yeah, I know, I, I know. I played one thing. What do I need? All right, hold on a second. Let me just calculate this in my head real quick because 
I I don't know which of these three yellows are. Okay, so then you hopefully. I don't. Well, I'm not playing these. Oh wait, no, you 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 did something. Turned. I turned somehow. Oh my. And you know how you turned. I mean, we could stop here and then see where we actually are turned before we do anything else. You want to do, do that? that please, yeah, that's fine. We have five cards. All right. I am a little. I'm a little concerned. So one, two, three. Full rotation. That's what I thought you had done. Four. And I did a partial rotation. I didn't have the right turn left. Okay. Okay, so we're almost where we need to be to pick up the last thing. So we are going... Wapam. Okay. Then... Wapam. Okay, then... Wapam. Uh, ooh. You have a Wapam? <laughs> <laughs> all this is total well, cheating, mean, by the way. Wait, but it's okay. It's all wait, good wait, fun. Hold on. Let me just stop. This is, all right. So hold on a second. So it's going like dun, and, uh, and, uh, and then I know it needs to. It needs to be. It needs to. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on then. I don't have the right. Do you, I, I think I do. Okay. I think I might. Because I got these. I know you do. I got these. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Ah, uh, I can't wait. Hold on, because we need to go. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, here, here. Do you know what I'm saying? I yeah. Can put if you down got that, this. okay. Mm -mm. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. We might win. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one rotation. Okay. Pick up the last food. It's good. We didn't pick up that by accident because we're not close enough. Okay. Conveyor belt. Switch it to the shorthand, which is where it needs to be to put it in the final spot. Yeah. Little rotation. Big rotation. Yay! Yay! All right, so that was uh, Quirky Circuits. <laughs> we ended in a yellow space. That would be like a yellow score, basically. Uh, you try to get it as high up as you can when you win. And yeah, that, that's more table talk than maybe the game entirely suggests. But, you know, play whatever makes your group happy. I don't want to stress this out too much here. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, check out my review of the game, and we will see you at the next stop. Thanks again for joining us, sweetie. Thank you for having me.